Hey friends, we're glad you're back for the book study with myself, Shelley, and with our friend, Iris. Hola a todos. This month, we're going to be reading One Grain of Rice by Demi, and it's sort of like a fable. Iris, can you explain what that is? Oh, sí. Un fable es como una fábula. Es un cuento que nos enseña algo. It's a story that teaches us something. All right, well, let's see what we learn in this story today. One Grain of Rice by Demi. Un grano de arroz. Long ago in India, there lived a Raja who believed to be, he was wise and fair as a Raja could be. Iris, what's a Raja? Una Raja es como un rey. It's like a king. That's right. He rules the people. The people in his province were rice farmers. The Raja decreed that everyone must give nearly all of their rice to him. I will store the rice safely the Raja promised the people, so that in time of famine, everyone will have rice to eat and no one will go hungry. Él iba a guardar el arroz. He was going to keep the rice safe. Yes, and it says in times of famine. Friends, do you know what a famine is? What about you, Iris? Es como tener hambre, to be hungry. Yes, that's right. There would be no food. So he said he would keep the food. Each year, the Raja's rice collectors gathered nearly all of the people's rice and carried it away to the royal storehouses. Oh, los guardaron en un almacén, in a special place to keep the rice. Yeah, I hope he's keeping it safe. Mm-hmm. For many years, the rice grew well. The people gave nearly all of their rice to the Raja, and the storehouses were always full. But the people were left with only just enough rice to get by. Hmm. Does it seem like they had a lot? Mm -mm. Then one year the rice grew badly, and there was famine and hunger. The people had no rice to give to the Raja, and they had no rice to eat. Oh, oh no. no! What do you think they should do? Hmm. No sé. I don't know either. The Raja's ministers implored him, Your Highness, let us open the royal storehouses and give the rice to the people, as you promised. No, cried the Raja. How do I know how long the famine may last? I must have the rice for myself. Promise or no promise, a Raja must not go hungry. ¿Por qué no quiere compartir? Why does he not want to share? I don't know. He didn't fulfill his promise. Mm -mm. Time went on and the people grew more and more hungry, but the Raja would not give out the rice. Oh, the poor people. Mm -hmm. Deben de tener mucha hambre. They must be very, very hungry. I bet. And he has all the rice. One day, the Raja ordered a feast for himself and his court, as it seemed to him the Raja should now and then, even when there is a famine. A servant led an elephant from a royal storehouse to the palace, carrying two full baskets of rice. El elefante llevó el arroz? The elephant carried rice? Yes, and you know what, Miss Iris? Hmm. I just realized that elephant sounds almost the same in Spanish, right? Elefante. Sí, es casi igual. Yeah, the word's almost the same, friends. A village girl named Rainy saw that the trickle of rice was falling from one of the baskets. Quickly, she jumped up and walked along beside the elephant. Catching the falling rice in her skirt, she was clever and she began to make a plan. Era muy inteligente, agarrando todo el arroz que se caía. She got all the rice that was falling. She did. She is smart. At the palace, a guard cried, Halt! Thief! Where are you going without rice? I'm not a thief, Rainy replied. This rice fell from one of the baskets and I'm returning it now to the Raja. Sí, no era una ladrona. Estaba recogiendo lo que se caía. She wasn't a thief. She was just collecting what fell. Yeah, she's probably hungry too, right? Mm -hmm. When the Raja heard about Rainy's good deed, he asked his ministers to bring her before him. I wish to reward you for returning what belongs to me, the Raja said to Rainy. Ask me for anything and you shall have it. Le iba a dar un premio? He was going to give her a gift? Yes. What do you think she will ask for, friends? Ooh, no sé. I don't know either. Hmm.
Your Highness, said Rainy, I do not deserve any reward at all, but if you wish, you may give me one grain of rice. Solo un grano? Yeah, only one grain of rice, exclaimed mm. the Raja. Surely you will allow me to reward you more plentifully as a Raja should. What do you think, Iris? Eso me suena raro. Solo un grano? Just one grain? Let's see. Very well, said Rainy. If it pleases your highness, you may reward me in this way. Today you will give me a single grain of rice. Then each day for the 30 days you will give me double the rice you gave me the day before. Thus, mm. tomorrow you will give me two grains of rice, the next day four grains, and so on for 30 days. What do you think, Iris? Va a tener un grano un día, después dos, después cuatro, su arroz va a duplicar. It's going to multiply. That's right. Good thinking, Iris. For 30 days, right? Hmm, 30 días. This seems still to be a modest reward, said the Raja, but you shall have it as Rainy was presented with a single grain of rice. Hmm. The next day, Rainy was presented with two grains of rice, and the following day, Rainy was presented with four grains of rice. Lo está duplicando. He's multiplying. Yep. On the ninth day, Rainy was presented with 256 grains of rice. She had received all 511 grains of rice only enough for a small handful. So, in nueve días recibió un puño de arroz. One handful in nine days. This girl is honest, but not very clever, thought the Raja. <laughs> she would have gained more rice by keeping what fell into her skirt. Hmm. Él cree que hubiera agarrado más arroz Si se hubiera quedado con el arroz en su falda. She might have had more in her skirt than what she got in nine days. Maybe. Let's see what's going to happen. I think she might have a plan. Mm -hmm. On the twelfth day, Rainy received 2,048 grains of rice, about four handfuls. Wow, eso es más. It is a lot, right? Mm -hmm. On the 13th day, she received 4,096 grains of rice, enough to fill a bowl. Cuatro mil nueve. You want me to say the number again, Miss Iris? Si, sí, por favor. She received 2,048 grains of rice, which was about four handfuls. How would we okay. say that in Spanish? Dos mil cuarenta y ocho granos. On the 13th day, though, she received 4,096 grains of rice. 4,096 granos. Enough to fill a bowl. Un plato lleno. That's what she needs, right? Mm-hmm, porque tenía hambre. Boy, these numbers just keep getting bigger. I think mm -hmm. she's pretty smart. On the 16th day, Rainy was presented with a bag containing 32,000 768 grains of rice. Wow. Es mucho. That is a lot. Altogether, she had enough rice for two full bags. Dos bolsas completas. The Raja says, this doubling adds up to more rice than I had expected. Mm -hmm. But surely her reward won't amount to much more. Él no estaba esperando eso. He wasn't expecting that. He was not. On the 20th day, Rainy was presented with 16 more bags filled with rice. Wow, 16 más bolsas. Mm -hmm. On the 21st day, she received oh, 1,048,576 grains of rice, Iris, enough to fill a basket. Wow. Un millón cuarenta y ocho mil quinientos setenta y seis granos de arroz. Oh, it's a mouthful, isn't it? Es mucho. <laughs> On the 24th day, Rainy was presented with, are you ready? A ver. Eight million. Ocho millón. Three hundred. 
300. And 88,000. Y 88,608 grains of rice. 608 granos de arroz. Oh, enough to fill eight baskets, which were carried by eight royal deer. Ocho canastas. ¿Y quién los llevó? Ocho venados. Eight deer carried them? Yes, so much. We're getting close to that 30 on the 27th day. 32 Brahma bulls were needed to deliver 64 baskets of rice. 64 canastas de arroz? I wonder how many grains there are. Muchos granos. Yeah. The Raja was deeply troubled. One grain of rice has grown very great indeed, he thought. Mm -hmm. But I shall fulfill the reward to the end as the Raja should. Tenía que cumplir su promesa. He had to follow through on his promise. He did. You're not going to believe this. A ver, ¿cuánto? On the 29th day, Rainey was presented with the contents of two royal storehouses. Dos almacenes completas. Whole houses full of rice? Yes, they had to deliver it on camels. Wow. And it even expands onto this other page. So many. Es mucho arroz. All right. Oh, my goodness. Let me read this, and then I'm going to show you guys and you, Iris, all the elephants. Okay. On the 30th and final day, 256 elephants. 256 elefantes. They crossed the province carrying the contents of the last four royal storehouses. Vaciaron cuatro almacenes. 536 million. 536 millones. 870,000. 870, mil. 912 grains of rice. 912 granos de arroz. Iris, it took up all four pages to show all the elephants carrying the rice. Son muchos elefantes. Oh my goodness. I think that Rainy has outsmarted the Raja. Oh, claro que sí. Altogether, Rainy had received more than one billion grains of rice. Wow, un billón granos de arroz. The Raja had no more rice to give. Mm -mm. And what will you do with this rice, said the Raja with a sigh. Now what, now that I have none? Si, sí, el rey ya no tiene. The king doesn't have any left. He doesn't. What do you think that mm. Rainy will do with it, Iris? No sé. Hmm. Let's see, friends. She said, I shall give it to the hungry people, said Rainy. <gasps> Lo va a compartir. She's going to share. She is. That's so nice. And I mm -hmm. shall leave a basket of rice for you, too? Hasta con él? Even to him? Yes. If you promise from now on to take only as much rice as you need. Sí. Así debe de hacer. That's what you should do. I promise, said the Raja. Qué bueno que prometió eso. That's good that he promised that. I'm so glad. It seems like he's had a change of heart. Mm -hmm. And for the rest of his days, the Raja was truly wise and fair, as a Raja should be. Qué bueno. Oh, friends, thanks for joining us today. Ra um, Iris, thanks so much for your help. Uh-huh. Gracias a ti, Shelly. Lots of big numbers in this one, right? Sí, muchos números muy grandes. All right, friends, we hope you enjoyed the story, and we'll see you soon. Adios. Bye.